the Bernice Mountain Dog people came to me. <laughs> and they said, those books are very nice. How would you like to do a burner book? We know we're not in the top numbers of dogs. However, we can guarantee you buyers, and we can guarantee you pictures. So I worked a deal, and they came to me, and they supplied me with pictures. They let me talk to all the burner people. So I was able to write the book and get the history and everything. And then they had their national specialty, with thousands of Bernie's Mountain Dogs, over in Rhode Island. And so they had me come and teach knitting at the Bernie's Mountain Dog National. And I, I had to limit it. I only had 17 people. But in two hours, I taught 17 knitters who had never knit before how to not only knit, but beginning in Tarsha. And I gave them a little knitting project, and it was to knit this sweater. Oh, yes. oh wow. And it was very simple, very oh, easy. Yeah. It was something that wouldn't intimidate them by taking months and months and months to do. <laughs> Plus, I gave them the bear at the same time, because you've got to have the bear if you've got to have the sweater. <laughs> And at the same, but before they had come to me, the new fee people had asked for their book. So within like a month, I had two books coming out. So in less than three years, I've had five books come out. And the new fee people had their national over there the week afterwards. Well, I was already white, so I didn't make it. I sent all of my people who had put their pictures in the new book out to market my books there. And so I was able to have the new Funland book. Well, what I'm working on now are the corgis, both with and without tails, the Pembrokes and the Cardigans together in one book. I'm also working on a poodle book. And I'm open to suggestions. What do you want next? <laughs> yes, pugs have to be pretty close up there because they're way at the top and I've done tons of pug sweaters. But in the meantime, I had all these designs I've done. I mean, I've been working at dog shows doing custom sweaters for people. And when they go out and win Best of Breed or Best in Show or whatnot. And I mean, we're talking Westminster, we're talking the AKC in Canuba, so we're talking people who really take pride in their dogs. They would come to me and they would say, my dog just went Best in Show. Create something for me. I mean, when J.R., the Bichon, went best in show, Celia came to me and she said, he's retiring, create something for him. So I did J.R. on the front, standing in the bowl from Westminster, with his ribbon hanging down. And on the back, it had J.R. standing on the edge of a whelping box with puppies running around, because that was going to be his new career. And stuck. <laughs> So, and I have to get the Be Shown book too. I have people yelling at me to get the Be Shown book done. But I had all of these sweater patterns I created for people. And I had over a hundred breeds. So what I did was I took them and just took the basic tunic sweater pattern. Actually, this isn't a tunic, this is a polo, but this is a tunic. Okay, so a basic tunic sweater pattern, wrote it up, did the graphics, for each breed and created a series of patterns. So every single one of my dog breeds are available in patterns. And right before Christmas, I got smart because I was having a lot of people contact me from like Belgium or South Africa or whatnot, saying, how much is it going to cost me in postage to get the pattern? And I was going to the post office and figuring out that it was costing them more in postage than the pattern cost. Mm -hmm. My patterns cost $7.50, but they were paying $10 in postage. So what I did was I created PDFs. So now you can go to www.caninemix.com, go right to the shopping cart, click on your dog breed of choice, and bim, you have it right there. Two seconds later, you're knitting away on the pattern. So there are over a hundred breeds 
available on the website. There are more coming. There's some that I have worked up and just haven't had time to upload. Right now, I've gotten to the point where designing them is, I can do that, just like that. It's getting the samples knit. So I had somebody come to me who wanted um, a black and tan coonhow right before Christmas. And I said to her, I don't have time to knit the pattern, you know. But I got this wonderful idea and I, she says, we're chatting away on the phone and I said, I'll make a deal with you. I'll give you the pattern. If you will then take a picture of your finished sweater so that I can put it up on the website. And, you know, three weeks later, she knit like a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, I had the picture of the black and tan coat. And so this is how I think I'm going to work it from now on. You want to breed? Fine. No problem. I'll give you the pattern for free if you take a picture of the sample right. when it's done and let me just put it up on the website. So not only are there sweaters that you can do with this, but if you have this pattern for the dog or for the lab or for any of these breeds, you can take that and you can put it on a pillow. You can use it. You, these are all done in worsted weight. Okay. But there's nothing. The knitting police will not come and get you <laughs> if you suddenly decide to do them on size one needles to make something for a baby. Or if you suddenly decide to do them on size 13 needles to make this huge afghan. A graph is a graph is a graph. Now, in